Hello everyone, it is Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I have Miss Spidey with me right here. She is my Chilean rose hair and she's currently hiding in the back of her tank. So let's cross our fingers that she's gonna come out. But uh, getting right into the video today, I wanted to share some research about what they are realizing about the intelligence of octopuses. What they are finding out about the biology of the octopus and its intelligence and how that fits into its physical body. This in particular is super exciting for me. I talked on this channel about laws in Europe, I believe, that are considering the octopus to be a sentient being. And I find it so fascinating and so valuable because I find that there are actually a lot of parallels to spiders and tarantulas. So I wanted to share this research and what people are figuring out about octopuses um, because I think that we can apply this and I hope that one day it will be applied to tarantulas and that it will be studied so that we can know this for sure. Um, besides just making little hypotheses and stuff. So in this article that I found on Real Science, um, it talks about how the octopus is a part of cephalopods, and these are considered like slow and simple shell critters, um, but they're actually very intelligent, uh, despite having originally been thought of as not very intelligent at all, much like tarantulas. Um, their intelligence works far differently than the way human intelligence does, or even mammalian intelligence, and that's probably why we have not studied it very much. Their intelligence works in a different way in that it's actually in their bodies rather in their like mind brain. The octopus, their intelligence actually is in their eight arms. I'm sure you can already see the, the parallel to tarantulas in that tarantulas and spiders also have eight limbs that have the ability to work separately as well as together. So what this article talks about with the octopus is that their skin is actually um, part of like their body brain and this skin acts as its kind of own separate brain or its own brain um, and they use this to assess the environment much like the tarantula uses its hairs um, and its limbs and it's like sensing features to assess the environment since tarantulas have such poor sight and um, very limited hearing and other senses aside from touch and feel. So this article talks about how, how octopus actually see with their skin and have developed an actually very large brain and nervous system through their skin. And so the body kind of serves as a brain. This article talks about how the octopus nervous system has half a billion neurons in its body which is the same as cats, dogs, and parrots. So very ad more advanced critters, or so we think, than the octopus. But actually only a third of these neurons are found in their brain. The majority are actually found in the eight arms of the octopus, which allows the octopus to think with their arms. And so this is where I started to read and get very excited about the possibility of this being applied to spiders. Um, this article said that these arms work together in synchronicity, suggesting that there is direction from the brain, but they can also work independently, as I was saying before. Um, independent decision-making in each arm, which is quite fascinating. Um, some information, interestingly enough, bypasses the brain and receives info from the environment. So it seems like the body has its own um, intelligence that is separate from the brain. And as the octopus receives info from the environment, parts of their eight arms, such as the suckers, for example, help the octopus analyze the environment faster than if the information had to go like to the brain and back to the body. So I kind of was thinking, could like the spider sete be considered the same? the information about the octopus being able to use its senses um, to analyze its environment while bypassing the brain and being able to react much faster and much more instinctually um, is really, really fascinating. I think that that can apply to a lot of animal forms or life forms that we think are lesser than humans, but actually have their own intelligence. 
And I really enjoy this article, not only for like that and how they talk about how they ate different arms um, and the skin is its own brain and had like the nervous system has developed for this like heightened intelligence that we don't even really fully understand. But this article talks about what is intelligence in respect to the octopus. So octopuses have been studied more often because they've shown actual abilities to do things like open things up, solve problems, play, and plan. And planning, most of all, is really, really important when we're thinking about what is intelligence. What creatures have the ability to have intelligence? And so, um, Dr. Jennifer Mather, professor of psychology, says that intelligence is the ability to think abstractly, to understand, problem solve, plan, and learn. And in the article, Real Science talks about how the octopus has been shown in many different scenarios to be able to solve things, solve problems, to open up things, to figure out how to accomplish certain things. One example that they gave is actually when octopuses were given coconut halves, they were able to take those coconut halves, carry them through spans of time and a little journey, they could arrange them for protection so that they could hide in the coconut halves for protection when they saw a predator. And then they can continue bringing those coconut halves along with them on their journey, um, which signals that they have the ability to understand that this is a protective factor, that they need it for the journey. This is their ability to plan, their ability to learn, perhaps even use these coconut halves for things like play or creativity. So I think that that certainly does point to greater intelligence than we think. Sometimes I think where humans get caught up is that we think of part of intelligence as being a social feature and octopus are not generally social, but they do have a lot of intelligence, much like tarantulas, not necessarily social creatures, but perhaps have intelligence in their own right. And so I think for these kind of creatures, whether it's an octopus or a tarantula, a spider, or whatever, we need a different model for intelligence. It's clear that the body holds a lot of wisdom or not necessarily wisdom, but certainly some sort of higher knowing or intelligence, a way of sensing their environment and a way of you interacting with their environment. This isn't to say that I believe that tarantulas possess as much intelligence as octopus, but I do think that if we are now learning this about the octopus, what could be applied here? Because I think that the octopus and the tarantula body is actually quite similar in the way that it works. Um, and I just wonder if there's any crossover, if we're gonna eventually find that there is a crossover in the future. So I found that very exciting. Um, I will link any videos or helpful articles that I found in doing this um, below so that you can also see it and let me know what you think what do you think about uh, actually if you know any other fascinating facts about the octopus or how that might relate to tarantulas please let me know because I actually find it really really interesting and uh, I will keep looking for information about this uh, especially as more information comes up so thank you so much for watching guys I hope you're having a wonderful week happy tarantula Tuesday and I'll see you next week bye bye